guys. I got another mail call that I'm gonna open up. This one's from Midtown Comics. We got two right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open them up off camera and uh, start sliding them out. All right, let's get looking and see what's inside. All right, we got. I am a my favorites Iron Man, um, and so I've been trying to get every issue of every run of Iron Man. So, however, I missed the issue number four of the Kurt issue. I love these Alex Ross covers; they're they're great. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with an Alex Ross drawing. I mean, everybody knows that. That's I believe that would be the consensus of everybody is that if it's Alex Ross, you could. So, um, I love that he's doing the covers for these. Uh, I've seen where he's done the Hulk covers and stuff like that. I think those look great. They look incredible. So, um, also got here a Thor number two. It's a variant cover. And if I'm not mistaken, this is supposed to be where Jane Foster takes up the mantle as Thor. However, now I'm curious. I wonder if I bought the wrong book. Oh, no, there she is. This is supposed to be the first full appearance of Jane Foster as Thor is what this is. And uh, because she's on the cover of number one, but I don't believe that we actually see her in all her glory as Thor until issue two. So this book's heating up a lot. Pretty excited about that. Um, I think I snagged it before. A lot of the the specking was going on with this variant and stuff like that. So I got a really good deal on that. Let's go ahead and open up box two. This is a Raw Shack 3. Again, I just... I missed this on my pull so i started reading it got got issue one and two read had to stop wait on issue three to get here so i can get back to reading that here's issue five again raw shack i love these covers they're awesome looking um i'm i'm so so about the actual read like it ain't really got me yet and so I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, once I get to five, at least, you know, the next two, that, like, I'm in and I'm good. But I, I'm just not there yet. I'm just not there. Uh, Midtown had lots, at the time, they had lots of these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 95 books. All in near mint. Um, these are the second, they were the second printings, not first, and they didn't have any of the other variants. But, these books had been heating up there for a while. I'm a big Turtles fan, always have been, grew up watching Turtles, love the Turtles, they're great. Um, and uh, this is, this is probably, to me, this is probably one of the biggest things that's happened in the Turtle books. To, to completely add a whole new Turtle a girl turtle on top of that, like, this to me was just a monumental deal with the turtle lineup. So, I went ahead and snagged some more copies of it. I think I already have one in the PC. Went ahead and grabbed two more. So, I like the idea of the hobby paying for itself. That's what a lot of people are talking about, is having the hobby pay for itself. So, picking up things like that to be able to later turn around and either trade or you know, give to somebody else or have somebody else buy so they can enjoy it as well. 
so that you can turn around and buy something else you enjoy. Um, so I, I just, you know, had the opportunity. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple more. If you like the video, press the like button, please. And uh, y'all have a good one. Stay safe. Ooh.